um, I was given, I had some very interesting visitors that could uh, go and get this, go and do healing for me and return and give the stenographer information. And there were times when I could just send my spirit out to do the healing. And God, it was a gift from God. That's all I can say to you. It was just a gift from God. Why did it happen to you? I guess I was open for it. Um, I didn't, but you see, there was a lot of people in my time, in my day and age, that did not believe that anything like that could happen. There was a lot of people that had very, very narrow belief systems, and I was brought up to believe in a much greater existence of God, a much greater, uh, that all things were possible, that um, I was brought up to believe that I was someone special by my parents, and this all seemed to work into me becoming someone different than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And I did believe in that God was behind everything. I did believe that. Mm -hmm. So uh, at, at some point you tried to expand your work and establish a clinic and to earn the money for that clinic using your talents. And that didn't work. That was blocked many ways and, uh, and you actually it's lost hard. money. It, it, it was blocked because they didn't want my head to swell. They didn't want my ego to be bigger. They wanted me to stay in this humble state. And so that didn't happen until after I passed. But I knew that it was supposed to be, but now there is an institution. But it wasn't there until after I left. Okay. Um, so who did this? Who did the blockage? I believe it was God, actually. I believe he, he didn't want me to, he wanted me to be, become, stay the same. He wanted me to be the healer that I was in the same way that I was before. And if I were to do all this institutionalizing, then I'd be out speaking on the road or I'd be out doing other things. And that isn't what he wanted for me. He wanted me to be who I was in the way that he created me. And as, as a person back then, didn't you feel it? Didn't you sense it? Why did, why did you, why did you were, why were you misled, misled and went all the way into uh, well, alternative ways? <laughs> People all around me tell, said, oh, you have a special gift. You have to do this. You have to, you have to do that. You know, all oh, you're the people that um, think they know what, is necessary for you try to tell you who you are in some ways and try to manipulate how you're how you're functioning and all that stuff and and i went along with it i was just sort of a normal guy i wasn't like uh saying oh yeah no i have a great vision of but some people had a great vision for me so i i went along with that because i really liked the fact that some people had a great vision for me but it I see why it didn't work out. Okay. Um, I guess it's a good time for the personal question, which is, I don't know. I will see if, if it needs to be cut out later. But basically, that's a personal question. So it looks like for me, it might be the same thing. I uh, feel like when I have a vi vision of grandeur and expanding activities, it's blocked and they want me to stay low. Is it the same thing? Can you see that? Can you ask that? I can, I can tell you this. Mm -hmm. God knows you very well, and he knows your mission better than you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. He knew my vision, my, my, he knew my mission better than I did. And as you can hear me talking, you probably say, are saying to yourself, this is not how I expected Ezra Casey to be. He, he seemed like he was a deep thinker and all these things. No, no, I was a deep healer, but a, a regular human being. Mm -hmm. So God wanted me to stay normal in many cases. I went bowling. I went out to eat. I had friends. But yet I also had this incredible ability. Now, you have many incredible abilities. 
you have uh, intellect, you have great thought, but God wants to keep you humble because that is the only way he can use you properly. You see, if you become expanded and get uh, high and mighty on yourself, then the parts of the mission will be missed. And uh, the help that you are to give to millions will not be given because it will be more about Max than it is about them. Right now, it's still about Max to a certain extent, but it's about the work. It's about the mission. It's about the moving forward. And God wants to keep it that way. But not to say that you won't reach some grandeur. Look at, look at what happened to me. I did reach uh, a great deal of popularity. I, uh, many people were coming to me. But you know what? I never took credit for the healings. I never took credit for the healings. And so that was part of who I was. I said, these healings are all from God. These healings are all not me. I just have a gift of the, the, that I can do it. But God is the energy behind it. So he kept me humble in the sense that I was not the one doing the work, really. But I was the instrument from which he did the work from. And, and he wants you to feel that way, too. He has a lot of great work to do through you. Through you. But you have to give God the glory, and then you will realize that greatness, the greatness of God is, is you. Right. So uh, another personal question I got is, uh, so yesterday I got the pain and I already got the, some, uh, some of the insight into it. But uh, can you look more with your medical, uh, medical well, eye? Yes, I'm, I'm outside of the body. I'm outside of your reality. So mm -hmm. I can look and see, yes, I can send you healing energy right now, but it would not be my healing energy. Healing energy of God and he can fix that right now. And he's glad that you asked because he wants you to see that he is going to work with you to get rid of these human pains, these human things, and make you a greater individual. But give him thanks. You, of course. You, to live for God is to live in pure health, pure positivity, pure love. I know that's impossible on the earth. I didn't do it as well, but I try to as much as possible. But he wants to heal that. He wants Excellent. to heal. Excellent. I accept, and uh, that's perfect. And he will. It, and it's, it'll be gone before the end of the day. Yay. Yeah, it was a pretty scary. It was one of the strongest I felt in the recent times. Yes. And I see what it is, and it'll be gone by the end of the day. You'll be perfectly normal. Yay. Um, so do you incarnate now? What's your incarnation status at the moment? I actually don't want to reincarnate at the moment. There are some things that I still have to understand about a lot of things right now. And then I will be coming back for it in the time frame of the ascension, but not for several years yet. So David Wilcox suspected that he is an incarnation of yours and your faces look very similar. Can yes. you comment on that? Um, let me just say this. He is, he has some of my energy because I am with him, but he is, uh, he lost some of my energy because he is so in, he has become a little bit arrogant. Let's really? put it don't you he's think so? uh, I think exceptional so. thinker. I, I, I really like his, uh, yes, but his he's, philosophy he's and ideas. Him. It's all about him and, uh, and what he knows. And I think that I, he needs to be a little humble, more humble, but he lost some of that humility that he once had because he is such an exceptional thinker. And um, he is part of me, yes. But I have to say to him, David, I love you dearly. You are a wonderful thinker. You're a genius. There's no question about it. 
give the great credit to God and don't accept it all in your own. And he will say to me, oh, you're right. I know I understand that. But you will be even more brilliant if you give God the glory. Uh, how does um, God look to you from your current, current perspective? What, what's your uh, uh, image of God at the moment? Yes, God can appear to be whatever you want him to be at whatever time you wish him to be. He is everything and all things. He is uh, every facet on the diamond. He is great creation. He is great healing. He is great light. He is great beauty. He is great energy. I, I can go on and on telling you what God is, but if it exists, God is it. So it, you, don't, you don't have a particular image of, of God, it's just what you create, I right? Don't have, uh, he doesn't show me his face. He shows me his energy his uh -huh. emotion, his thought processes. He does not have a, he can have a face if you wish, but he finds that to be uh, not uh, unnecessary. He finds uh, a form to be unnecessary. Uh-huh. And how does his energy feel? Absolutely amazing. It's like when you, the closer you get to him, the more joyful you feel, the more gratitude you want to give, and the more love uh, exudes out of your body because he draws it to him. He draws all the positivity to him that you have, and you, it just is electric. It's beautiful. It's, um, it's like every cell in your body is exploding with joy. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, what's your um, what's your uh, activity? What do you do these days? Um, in the past, uh, oh yeah. So you left well, like six or seven years ago. What did you do all this time? Um, I'm learning about what I have to do in my next life. Um, my next life is going to be very um, difficult in some ways, but I it's going to still be using healing modalities. It's going to still be using a lot of the things that I know about, but I need to learn a lot more precision about the human body. I used, knew, need to learn a lot more about the emotions of all human beings and how they function. And I, I need to learn about this day and age uh, in, in every place on the earth for a particular reason. Well, this day, I mean, this year, or this uh, last year, this, this era, I should say, this era, era yeah, okay. the time. Okay. Yes. When you look at us, are you looking at uh, an events in, in a sequence as they happen in history, or can you are you free to look in the future as well? I can do it whatever way that I wish. So you can look up the future as well. Not far in the future, but. If there's something in the past that I think is going to affect the future, I can look and see if it had that effect, yes. Mm -hmm. but and, I, see if, and see those kinds of things that I did that had uh, effects in the future, especially with the healing modalities, with what was healed and how it changed the future, how it caused more positivity uh, with many families, with and how it was perceived by the world. It was, it's quite an interesting thing to learn about how you, at, with God's help, have changed the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but um, I just wonder, uh, is your, your experience in any way bound to our time? Like as we develop, Yes. Uh, do you follow it in the sequence, or I, your your world is not connected to our time at all? We anything? don't. I don't have to follow it as a sequence, but I do follow it in event form in a sequence for the most part. I will go to a sequence of events and study that because mm -hmm. um, 
that's what I, I need to do. But does that sequence stop at this time now or it no, continues not further? Necessarily. No, no, no. So you can I look further forward. in the sequence, it, right? it does not necessarily stop at your time period. I can continue to move forward and look at it in uh, several years from that period in the future uh, also to a certain point. Yes. To, to the point where I need to see it. Uh-huh. So how did your um, uh, psychic ability work uh, when you were doing it on Earth? Uh, was there like a, someone on the other side making decisions? Was like a medical doctor working on the other side or maybe a group of doctors? Uh, what happened was this, and there, was, there were times when other beings, other angels, other I'm not sure who they were, uh, I, they have not all been identified, but they knew what they were doing. They came to me and told me exactly as I moved out of my body and went to these people exactly what to do for them, exactly how to, to uh, heal them. And that was actually them help uh, through me, uh, my spirit, helping these pe people. God, give, God gets the glory for that because I couldn't do that on my own. So I'm just saying that it was different people for different medical reasons. Uh huh. Can you ask them if they can identify themselves right now, like the ones which worked to you on the other side for you? Well, I know the there was angels. I know Raphael was there. I know uh -huh. Michael was there. I know uh -huh. that. Um, uh, there was uh, ascended masters there, some wonderful, wonderful high beings from other places that knew exactly what to do in those uh, situations. And they have, some of them have identified themselves, but they do not want me to identify them here. Oh, wonderful. I see. So, did the, how much of the alien activity was there? Was it? There was a little. Alien? There was, a, there was some alien activities. There was at least three aliens that I know of that helped me. And one was from uh, Arcturus, Arcturian space. And that was the one that was helping me the most. Uh, but there was a couple others. Uh-huh. And um, were you an alien hybrid? Did you have any special genetics for that? I, my body was created to... Uh, the body was created sort of normal, but the brain was created to function in a higher way for healing. Yeah, because you had like a head of a little more like uh, ex expanded on the top and uh, shrank on the bottom. Yes. Uh huh. And um, did you have any alien visitations or sightings in uh, in your life? Yes. What did you think of them? I knew exactly what they were when I saw them and when I experienced them. And you know what? I, d I really didn't talk about them too much. I did talk about them, but not extensively. But they are recorded. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you were aware of the aliens? Absolutely. And uh, your Christian... Uh, view, worldview. How do, how did you modify your Christian worldview to? Well, uh, to allow the thing they... is, I believe everything that happened fit right into my Christian view because I had a, the picture of Christianity that all things are possible. That's what the Bible says. All things are possible if you only believe. And that leaves nothing, that, that's very, very plain to understand. And so if all things are possible, then this was possible also. Aliens are possible. Healing is possible. The possibility that the church was corrupt is possible. So I, I really did not look at the church as my, as my teacher completely. I looked at the church as fellowship, and I looked at the love portion of it, 
and the positive portions of it, and I sort of let the rest of it go. So I, I could honestly tell you that my view of the church was only from my angle. I did not share the views that everybody else did. I see. Um, let me see what time is it. Yeah, I, I actually the time came to the, it's time to let Jim come back to his body. And uh, do you have, like, we have a few more minutes to close. Do you have any messages or blessings and um, things of that sort? Well, I have, I could go into messages, blessings, all these things. What I want to do right now is just tell you that to, I want to tell everyone, you too can be a healer. You too can function greater than you're functioning now if you believe that God is able to do that through you. Now, because I believed that God was able to do that through me, it happened. And actually, I was sent there for that particular purpose. But some of the people on the planet right now are there for great purposes, and they let third dimension just block them right down to nothing. What I want to tell them is to open themselves up and let themselves be a, 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 a tool for God to use because a lot of them have great gifts that they just, people are saying, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's all about negativity. Let that negativity go, because I was surrounded by that too. People were saying, you can't heal people. This is, a, this is a not from God, this is demonic worship or whatever. And, and I just ignored them because I knew God was in the midst of all of the things that were happening and not anything evil. You have to keep your perspective on who you are and what you're dealing with. If it, if it is not evil, then don't let somebody tell you that it is. Don't let anybody tell you that it is. All right, that's my little thing. It's better than a prayer in the sense that perhaps somebody will say, hey, Edgar Casey's sort of a regular guy, just like me. Um, and they will take that into consideration. Uh, did you connect to um, uh, Yogananda, Babaji, oh, that line of... Yogananda, uh, many of the others, wonderful. Babaji, I love... They are all so amazing. I find them to be amazing. They're more amazing than I am in many, many respects. Um, their, their spirits are so joyful. They're, the, way they, they, the way they interact is so positive and enlightening. I, I am just uh, in awe of some of these wonderful ascended masters and how God has been able to bless three people through them. Wonderful. All right, thank you very much. With that, I need to release Jim from channeling. Uh, come All again. Right. Thank you for coming. And uh, I'm, I'm sure, like, think about uh, how we can teach us the healing and help us uh, with your healing capacities. Oh, yes. Maybe, I can, maybe we I can, can do more of you for that, for, that, for that purpose. You have to believe. You have to open yourself and be courageous because people will tell you when you open yourself, demons are coming all kinds of negativity, but guess what? If you intend the most positive things to come to you, they will. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Thank you much. Uh, talk to you. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.